Hi everyone, welcome to Movie World. I'm Robert Waldman. First of all, on a sunny day in Surrey, I want to wish everybody good health and happiness and a nice summer. I want to talk to you today about a thriller. It came out in 2016, a joint effort from Universal Studios and DreamWorks. DreamWorks, by the way, little uh, business trivia for you. That's the company formed by Steven Spielberg, Jerry Katzenberg, and David Geffen, SKG. The movie, The Girl on the Train. Little bit of, again, trivia on this movie. It was actually supposed to be set in London, but the filmmakers, Tate Taylor, the director, as an example, decided to set the movie and the story in New York. What's it about? Well, it's all about a woman, a rather conflicted woman named Rachel Watson. Rachel, you see, takes the train every day from her home to New York to her job and back. Or does she? She keeps on taking that train and one day she looks at the houses as the train passes by. It's a nice train, other people are on the train, but she sees something bad. She sees a man and a woman embrace and they might not be married. So this woman, you might say, has some difficulties. She actually used to live in the neighborhood, so she sort of hounds her ex-husband. Now Rachel is a bit troubled. She winds up getting involved in the lives of people in her old neighborhood. In particular, a couple of women and a couple of guys. The women, incidentally, are played nicely by Rebecca Ferguson and Haley Bennett. But it's really focusing, this whole movie focuses and centers on Rachel. You see, she's also a former alcoholic, but she still may be suffering from that disease. And she's rather delusional, and she just has all sorts of problems. And those problems get magnified when she is somehow connected, apparently, with the disappearance of one of these ladies. The police naturally question her, and her life really starts falling apart as she tries to solve a mystery person's crime. The movie co-star is Justin Theroux. Now, it is a rather violent movie. It takes long to, you know, to really pay off, but I will tell you that Emily Blunt, who's a very good actress, who came, I guess, to prominence in the movie The Devil Wears Prada, great movie with Meryl Streep. Now, in this movie, the girl on the train, it's rather uneven, and it does get really, I wouldn't say abusive, but it doesn't treat women in a nice way. The women actually are victimized in this movie by one or two, I guess, bad men. So it looks at domestic violence, it looks at voyeurism, there's some very sexy scenes, some nudity. It's an adult story to be sure. I will tell you that the performance by uh, Emily Blunt is very good as an alcoholic, a woman under severe pressure. There's also an element involving a psychologist, so there's lots of kinky stuff going on in this movie. And it's really not for everyone. It's a couple hours, like I say, it's adult fare. I found it a little bit too hard to comprehend. I found it too unbelievable. I found the police element, one of the police officers played by Allison, Allison Janey, um, a little bit too far-fetched. This woman, you see, isn't really believed because of her illness. And she probably should be believed because she probably could have helped a situation from becoming very bad and very violent to a woman in play. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give a girl on the train, I'm gonna give it a six. Thank you for watching. Robert Waldman from Movie World. Hope to see you soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it okay or not? Let's see. Let's see. Can we stop?